Hi folks, today we're going to talk about BitLocker and how to initialize BitLocker on your computer. Now, if you have the following, you can do this. One, you have to have Windows 7 Ultimate or Vista Ultimate in order for you to be able to turn BitLocker on your computer. Also, for those of us who have the uh, trust platform module built into their motherboards then this tutorial is not for you. This is only for people who do not have this module and would like to uh, take advantage of the BitLocker hard drive encryption. Um, it's very simple to turn on it's just uh, it's just a matter of uh, tweaking your operating system a little bit. Once uh, you establish that BitLocker is on and you've encrypted your drive, you're going to need a USB stick in order to uh, perform this operation. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we're going to need, before we start, is a USB stick. You're going to need that uh, because that's going to be your key from now on. What do I mean by that? I mean, in order for you to log in, once you initialize BitLocker, because we don't have the TMP module, we're going to use the USB stick as a key to log in or start our machine. Because without it, what happens is, is when you boot into it, you're going to get a blank screen saying, OK, there has been no key found and you're going to have to manually type in the key in order for you to log into your machine. Okay, so it's very important. Make sure that you get a USB stick ready. Okay, now remember you can always pause, rewind uh, any of these tutorials that I do if uh, I'm going too fast. Okay, so the first thing I'd like for you to do is click on start and from start what I'd like for you to do is GP edit Okay, dot MCS. It's going to bring up this dialog box. Now, this is the local group policy editor. And with this editor, we're going to tell the operating system to, to turn on BitLocker. Because by default, it's looking for the TMP, which is the Trust Platform Module. Okay, so from here, what we want to do is we want to go to Local Machine, uh, Administrative Templates. Windows components, okay, and from Windows components, we click that down and we go down the list and find BitLocker encryption. Okay, open that up. Let's see if we can get a better look here. Let's move that out. Okay, from there, we want to go to Open System Drives and double click on the required additional authorization at startup. Okay, then we get this dialog box here. What we want to do from here on end, now mind you, this is going to look different from what you see on your uh, machine because I have mine already checked up. So what we want to do is we want to check this, which is going to allow BitLocker without a comparable TMP. So that means it's going to say, hey, what we're doing is we're saying, hey, I want to use BitLocker I don't have a trust platform module, so let's just allow it, and that's okay. So you, you check that off, and then you click OK. All right. Once you do that, you're ready to go. The next step is to turn on BitLocker. Okay, Locker. now okay. that we have told the operating system, look, man, I want to use BitLocker, but I don't have a trust platform module, it's now going to need a USB stick to start the machine, okay? This is important, people, so follow along. Right, so let's get to it. Now, remember, we need that USB stick. I cannot stress enough, we need that. Without a stick, you cannot use your machine, or you cannot use BitLocker, because that is your key. All right, so let's go to start okay from start we want to go to control panel from control panel we want to go to securities or systems and securities alright from there we go down there and here we find BitLocker drive encryption by double clicking that 
we are now inside a BitLocker or the program that controls BitLocker. It's the BitLocker actual control center. Now, your drive is going to look different than mine, okay? Because I already have mine initialized, all right? So the only thing that you're going to see here, as you can see, mine is already turned off BitLocker or suspend protection or manage BitLocker. Now, in this case, you're not going to see these two options. You're going to see turn on BitLocker. Now, when you turn that on, it's going to run a couple of tests prior to encrypting your drive. What it'll ask you to do, of course, it's going to say it's going to ask you to insert your USB key. You do so. Just follow the prompts, people. Don't be, don't be afraid. Just follow the prompts. And then when you insert your key in, what it's going to do is it's going to test it to see if it can read your USB. So it's going to restart your machine. Once your machine is restarted and then comes back online, go back to BitLocker and it's going to tell you if it passed or if it's failed. If it's passed, what it's going to do is it's going to start encrypting your drive. At the end of the encryption, what it's going to say is would you like to um, save your key on a removable drive or print it out. I strongly recommend that you print it out, okay, because it's a 25 character key and it's pretty, it also has other information, so do not lose this piece of paper. Print it out, also store it on your USB if you'd like, or store it in a place that is safe. Because remember, folks, once you encrypt this drive and you lose that key and you don't have any other way of getting a hold of this key, uh, the drive is pretty well useless. It's encrypted. It's going to be locked up completely. So make sure that you write the key down or print it out, store it in a safe place, so that way you can retrieve this key if ever you need it. Okay? So remember, once it restarts, if it's passed, it will start encrypting your drive. When it's finished, it's going to ask you, would you like to save the key, print the key? You know what? Print a copy and also save it elsewhere and then store it someplace safe. And from there on end, in order for you to use your machine when you turn it on, is to insert your USB into a USB port on your computer. Turn the power button on. It will look for that. Now remember, another thing is to remember, and Microsoft doesn't tell you this, when you have your key and you have another USB device in, it's going to poots it out. What I mean is it's not going to find your key because you have two USB. Make sure that your key is the only key or the only USB stick that's in the USB at the time of starting up. Once you start up the, the, the operating system and you're logged in, you can take the key out and put it away someplace and use your USB as regular. But make sure you don't have two of them in there because you're going to get a blank screen, okay? Or you're going to get a screen that, hey, I couldn't find the the USB stick or I couldn't find the key because it's it's looking for the key okay alright now if that's too much for you you know email me for any questions and I'm sure I'll be able to help you out okay so that's how you do it folks enjoy and uh, take care thank you for watching bye for now